Hello guys, Keep Right On TV here, back for yet another video. Before we get into today's video, let's see if we can hit 100 likes. And as well, if you haven't dropped a sub, make sure to smash that subscribe button. So of course, the Tony Mowbray renaissance, or renaissance, continues at Birmingham City Football Club. He's been in charge of Blues for three games. And he's unbeaten in his first three games. Yeah, that's kind of different to the previous manager who lost his first three games. Um, yeah, a massive, massive difference. Tony Mowbray has picked up a point against Swansea City. Yes, in my opinion, we should have beaten Swansea. I mean, come on. They had a League, they had a league 2 manager appointed not long ago. Um, but yeah, we saved the points in the last minute due to a Jordan James goal. And his substitutions, by the way, for that game against Swansea were spot on. The game against Stoke yesterday as well, substitution is spot on. And the game against Hall City, where he brought on five substitutions to turn the game around. Substitutions, yet again, spot on. Tony Mowbray is a special manager. And Sunderland fans, well, Sunderland Football Club, this is a message to you. What have you done? You've appointed Beal, who was hated by Rangers fans. You sacked Tony Mowbray, but he got you in the playoffs last season. Sunderland fans... You must be regretting this decision now. Because you lost the other day as well to Hull City at home. You're out of the playoffs now. And we're already about nine points behind you. But yeah, Tony Mowbray, of course, he actually lost against Stoke City when he was um this season when he was at Sunderland. But yeah, like, you can tell, can't you? There's just such a massive difference. You can tell. And what Tony Mowbray did pre match against Stoke City as well, spending time, taking time out to Engage with the fans. And that's something the previous manager, Wayne Rooney, did not do. He did not do. Wayne Rooney did not care about the fans. In my personal opinion, I don't think he cared about the fans. Tony Mowbray, he cares. He cares about the fans. He cares about the football club. And he's only been here about two weeks. Not even two weeks. I think it'll be two weeks tomorrow. And you can already tell there's a massive difference. And yes, we're still 20th place. But we're only five points off 13th. Only five points off 13th. And I think this season, we could actually see Birmingham City Football Club do something. And I don't mean, I don't mean do something in terms of promotion, but we could be, we could be top half, you know. If we, if we, obviously, you know, there's, there's some tough games coming up, but if we get our act together, Tony Mowbray even said, by the way, that um, despite the win against Stoke City, we have to improve. And I do agree with him on that. I do agree with him on that. I mean, the, the, the defending, yes... I know we won 2 1, but the defending was poor at times. You know, Cody Drama got caught out a couple of times as well. Um, so, yeah, we've got Leicester in the Cup um, next Saturday. That's going to be a game where, you know, the best we can hope for in that game is a replay, let's be fair. Um, but, yeah, Tony Mowbray, I've done a poll as well saying, have we finally got our man? On my community tab um, last night, and about 95% are probably the, the other 5% are rival fans. But yeah, so so refreshing, you know, so refreshing. Um, you know, you know what the irony is, really. The irony is, if if we didn't if we didn't actually bring in Wayne Rooney, <laughs> we probably could be we we would probably be at least in in the top half, if not in the playoff places, like we was under John Eustis when he got sacked. But yeah, Tony Mowbray, what a man. What a man. I'm already, already just so delighted. I'm over the moon. I am over the moon that we've appointed this manager. I wanted Steve Cooper, yes. Yeah, so a lot of fans wanted Steve Cooper. They probably would have took over, uh, took um, Steve Cooper over Tony Mowbray. But Tony Mowbray knows his division. And yes, his last promotion from this division was in 2008 with West Brom and Jalbion. But I just have this weird feeling, you know, next season, watch out for Birmingham City Football Club. I know we've had plenty of full storms, but the renaissance under Tony Mowbray is only just beginning. And I can't wait for the ride. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. It's been Keep Right On TV. Make sure to like, share, and also subscribe to the channel. Let's see if we could have 100 likes. Thanks so much as always, guys. And uh, yeah, up the blues. Keep right on.